Yes. Last try, baby. 10 miles. Let's do it. Push it, guys. Push it. Hey. Let's go. Switch the wall. Hold there, guys. Don't give up. Don't give up. Let's go. Hey. This door. And we're done. Hold there, guys. Don't give up. Eyes on the prize. Hey. Ten miles, baby, in the books. Hey, you guys, how you doing? Just got done doing my morning ten miles. Hey, you know I watched a lot of kung fu fights on uh, YouTube, guys. If you guys got a chance to look up uh, the the YouTube channel, Fight Commentary, they have a lot of kung fu fights on there. You now I watch like old, like back in like, 1920s or 50s, always do like present time kung fu fights, and the one that I saw. They all have in common is that dude, they look like trash when they fight. It looks like they're street fighting, they look like they're brawling, it looks like the guy doesn't even train, doesn't, doesn't even look like martial arts. So, you know, seeing all the couple guys getting mopped up, you know, it got me thinking like, about like you know, those heroic stories like Bruce Lee's, uh, I think he's a Fist of Fury and Jet, Jet Lee's Fist of Legend, you know. And I know it's a fictional story, but I, I'm starting to think like, Man, these Kung Fu guys, you know, um, probably lie on the resume. They probably got mopped. I'm talking about right now. I, right now, we YouTube it and we find that, like, you know, the, the, all the Kung Fu guys get mopped by his early guys. I'm talking about way back then, you know, Ip Man days. You know, uh, even a Donnie Yen story, like, he just whooping up like 10 guys. That's probably not true. Like, now we have a karate, you know, Kushikin Karate, Shoro Karate. You know, we still see that news today, like, in K1, like K1 fighters, you know, that's quite back when, like, uh, Andy Hughes, you know, it's dope, right? Spinning back kick, boom, kills everybody. Uh, karate guy, who is uh, Masato, and uh, 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 Takedo, and then, uh, uh, Juju Japanese, but, uh, uh, I can't name the top of my head, but there's a, a, a lot of karate guys, the point is, a lot of karate guys now that still fight, that are, the techniques are still very effective. Like, Bruce Lee, like, Bruce Lee was his, his uh, fist, of, fist of Fury, right? Uh, in, the, in the movie, he's, he's a Kung Fu guy, so of course he wins. But when Bruce first came into America, I'm pretty sure he got messed up by Gene LaBelle, you know? But I'm sure that's kind of a lesson. You know, he's very um, open-minded, thankfully, and he could do Kung Do. You know, what you, what you can do, you know? Do whatever works. So he studied boxing. He studied wrestling. He studied with judo, you know, kickboxing, whatever. He's, you know... You try to be innovative. Especially when it comes to martial arts, you know, you, you gotta be honest, you know. You gotta be honest with people, you, you gotta be honest with yourself. You know, if you're a teacher, you know, uh, you wanna show someone some technique, don't BS somebody, hey, don't tell them, hey, this works, when you really, in reality, you have absolutely no idea if it works or not, because you probably never try it out yourself. And for yourself, just, just don't lie to yourself, you know. Uh, be, be honest, like, if this really works, you know, it works, I mean, I always say, you know, um, martial arts, you don't have to, it doesn't have to be effective in a fight for you to appreciate it. That's totally cool. But don't lie to people and tell them this technique works when really it doesn't work or you never try it yourself. Because why? Now you're getting someone else in trouble. They might actually think that it works and then in the self-defense scenario, they might actually get hurt. And so like Bruce Lee said, like, uh, the best style is no style. As in, you know, he messed everything up. Like uh, he had Juke Kendo, uh, or he had like you know, Wing Chun, where he did, and he did boxing, uh, he did wrestling, he did judo. All that combined, you know, is not a style. So, you know, uh, it mixed martial arts is what he's saying. The best style is mixed martial arts. Put everything together, do what works. Fire the dice. See you later. Hey!